Swanscombe Echo is a huge amount of very diverse habitats that you find all over Norfolk. We have this amazing river, the River Wensum, which is actually the most um, important river in the whole of the east um, of England. But there again, if you go further afield in Norfolk, you can go out to um, the broads and see bitterns on the broads and then of course we get a lot of geese coming in uh, which you will also see on the coast so there's there's a lot of sympathy between Pensthorpe and Norfolk. I think growing up in Norfolk and um, there's so much wildlife there's such a diversity we've got the Norfolk broads and um, which I often used to visit with my granddad and um, we used to go and have a little look for birds and butterflies and I always remember seeing a marsh harrier for the very first time which was fantastic and um, I also went on a lot of rock pooling trips and beach trips with my parents and my friends and we used to go rock pooling and find the starfish and hermit crabs and things and I've always had a really big fascination with wildlife Life and particularly animals that come from the sea as well. So Norfolk has great summer and winter opportunities to see wildlife. So in the summertime, you know, you've got wetland here, you've got an amazing coastline, you've got salt marsh, you've got uh, amazing woodlands um, with some really amazing butterflies, uh, and you've got night jars um, as well, which, which favour the woodlands. But it's just the diversity all within, you know, you could pretty much come here for a weekend and sort of bag some of the most rarest birds in Britain. I think Norfolk is still wilderness, it's still wild, there's a lot of untouched spoiled areas and just the, the coastline um, and the grey seals um, there as well, so it, it is an, an amazing sight. So the feeding process for the penguins at the moment is they love herring, that's their absolute favourite thing to eat. And this one here is a baby we had born um, three years ago. This is Pitcher and he's the first penguin we ever had born at the centre, so he's very, very special to us. What we're really trying to do here at Pensop is actually just get across to the visitors some really important messages and we want everyone to go home having learnt something. Um, and what he's doing is actually explaining to the people in the viewing gallery there the, the conservation stories behind each bird and, and um, what each species is all about really.